have my fall decor up because that's literally the only good thing I have to look forward to right now. Fall. Look at my poppy. Hi. Say hello. Say hello. My name is Miley to give you a path again. <laughs> goodbye hi guys welcome back to my channel i wanted to sit down today and just do a favorites video i really want to go back to filming my monthly favorites videos because i've just i've been buying a lot of makeup testing a lot of new makeup i'm changing things up every month so i feel like i i, I, I just want to go back to doing these okay today's video is going to be my favorite favorite products for the month of august i do have a ton of makeup to talk about i have some brushes some tools um i think i have just like one or two skincare products so before we get started if you're new here welcome my name is angela i make beauty and lifestyle videos new videos every week i cannot stick to like an uploading schedule because i just like randomly go through moments where i'm like go 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 and then other moments where it's like all I can say is just expect new videos every week, but I just can't say what date. Just subscribe down below. First product that I want to start off with, this is the Artistry Studio 2-in-1 uh, Perfecting Matte Finish Primer. I have been loving this primer. I think that this primer is my new holy grail primer this is from the new artistry studio collection they're launching a ton of products if you haven't watched my review on the collection go watch that after you're done watching this i've still been testing everything out the product that i just cannot put down it is this primer i have gotten some comments asking if i prefer this primer or if i prefer the original artistry primer i prefer this because i have combination skin so I mean, I'm always like torn between wanting to have like dewy skin, but just knowing that by midday I'm gonna look like a grease ball. So it's so I always like go for like a matte primer, just something to control my oiliness, reduce the shine on my skin, and just like to you know, just something that's going to make my makeup just last longer really really love this primer because it really controls the oiliness it leaves me with the nice matte finish but it also blurs out and reduces the appearance of my pores with primers it's always just like one thing it either only keeps me matte or it only blurs out the pores i always just struggle to find primer that does all of that that i mentioned um so i have really been enjoying this before i forget i do really want to give a big thank you for positive response that i've gotten on my review on the new artistry studio collection i get really scared of posting an artistry video because i give like some mean comments so far i've gotten just a great positive response i'm just really happy that a lot of people enjoyed it and that a lot of people more than anything found it helpful even though artistry is one of my favorite brands i always do have to give honest reviews i didn't give it the best reviews on a specific product and that video was kind of a hot mess i almost didn't even want to post it because the makeup look just came out um i am really glad that a lot of people did appreciate my honesty just thank you guys so much i have a foundation that i've really been enjoying to pair with the artistry primer and that is the fenty beauty what is this the pro filter soft matte longwear foundation these two together are literally like perfect skin i swear i can't get enough of these together like they just work so well together and i have also been mixing the fenty beauty foundation with this concealer from too faced this is the born this way multi-use sculpting concealer i got a little bit of a tan over the summer none of my foundations really match me that well this concealer i bought this since last year it's a little bit too dark to use like underneath the eyes but i have been using it either as a foundation by itself or mixing it in with my other foundations so i've really been liking how these two mix together in general i just love how these three look on the skin they just look so good it literally looks as if you have like a filter on your skin another complexion product that i've also really been enjoying um i use this more for like an everyday basis that is the pure lease perfect glow 
BB cream. This has SPF 30. I actually got this in a boxy charm. I've been using this BB cream like all summer long. It's just so so good. I just love how it gives like a really good amount of coverage. It's not full coverage. It's more of like a buildable medium coverage. It just leaves the skin kind of like feeling moisturized and it just evens out the skin tone and i just i've really been enjoying this so the benefits on this is that it improves your skin complexion softens and even skin tone hydrates the skin helps reduce fine lines wrinkles dark spots dullness and other signs of aging prevents uva uvb damage and again this does have spf 30. i am wearing it today and i did a pair it with the artistry two-in-one perfecting matte finish primer i like that it just feels very comfortable on the skin the only thing it costs 35 dollars so i don't know if i am going to repurchase it boxycharm was doing some pop-up sale thing they actually had this for sale for six dollars i saw it too late like the light shades were already sold out so i was like oh my god for me to like go out and like pay like 35 dollars for this i would spend the 35 dollars on an actual foundation but not on a bb cream like that's a lot for a bb cream. if anyone has any recommendations for a good bb cream please let me know down below because this this is good but i don't think it's 35 dollars good another product that i've also been enjoying so so much this is the fenty beauty it's the cheeks out freestyle cream bronzer this is really like the only cream bronzer that i've ever bought i really like how it really conceals my double chin and i just love how natural and pretty it looks on the skin it's super easy to build up to blend out i feel like i'm about to hit pan on this and i really like to apply and blend the product out with this brush from ColourPop. this is the f2 brush and i believe that this is like some sort of blush brush but i use it to apply the contour and just blend everything out i think it's worth the price tag it just looks very like natural on the skin i have five lip products to talk about i have no idea if i've mentioned this one before but i have here the nyx lingerie lip in the shade lace detail i think i've used this in some recent videos this is like the perfect nude shade for me it is just super pretty i really like the formula of this it's very long wearing and i just i love it it's like a very pretty nude this lip color just goes with like any look that i do i've also really been enjoying the morphe liquid lipsticks the two that i've really been enjoying are the shades schoolgirl as well as taunt i'm actually wearing taunt today and it's just such a pretty like warm not like a nude but just like a very i don't know i don't i suck at describing colors i really really like these liquid lipsticks i especially like the applicator and just how easily they glide onto the lips and also just how long wearing they are i had never been such a big liquid lipstick person i do have a good amount in my collection but i always just prefer like actual like regular bullet lipsticks just because they're more moisturizing and not as drying as liquid lipsticks um and then this is schoolgirl which is just like the perfect mauvey pink so this is a little swatch right here i love this shade like it's so so pretty and i've also really been enjoying to pair the taunt liquid lipstick from morphe um along with the nyx lingerie lip um i've really been enjoying to <laughs> with this lip liner from elf i don't know what the hell this is called it does not have a name it does not have a number but this is just what it looks like and i really like it i really like how it just like glides on it just pairs very nicely with these another elf product that i've also been enjoying this is the ride or die lip balm i have mine in the shade tough cookie it feels very moisturizing on the lips and i like how it just gives you like a little bit of color the only thing that i don't like about this is the applicator and you kind of just have to like go ahead and apply like that but it's like very hard i wish that they would have actually put like some sort of like an actual applicator on it what else i want to talk about i want to talk about some brushes i have been obsessed with ColourPop 
brushes. Last year, I got some of their eye brushes. In July, I decided to order some of their face brushes. These have been my go-to brushes. If you're kind of like over seeing the same brushes at the drugstore, like Real Techniques, Eco Tools, Elf even, but you don't want to buy Morphe brushes and you also don't want to spend 30 bucks on just one high-end brush. I would highly recommend looking into getting ColourPop brushes. I got all of these for $5 each and I have just been in love with them. I've already washed them. Nothing happens to them. They are just, they work amazing. They're so soft. This one right here, this is the F15 brush and this is just a flat kabuki brush. It is very dense. I love using this to apply foundation. It doesn't leave like any like streaky lines. It blends out the foundation super, super easily and also fast. This is the F13 brush and this is just a large fan brush. Love to go in with this brush to apply my bronzer and just to blend everything out. I like to go in with the F1 brush, which is just a large powder brush. I already mentioned this, but this is the F2 brush and this is what I like to use to apply my cream contour. And then for eye brushes, um, this is the E2 brush and I like to just go in and use this one to go in there to the crease. This is the E10 brush and this is just to apply like inner corner highlight or underneath the brow bone. This brush right here, this is my favorite brush for, oh, I love this brush. I do so much with this brush. This is the E13 brush and I love, I love this. This is my child. I love to blend out the concealer on my eyelids with this and just like pack it all in, blend that out. I also use it to um, apply powder and just to like set there and then i also like to use it to grab like um like a highlighting shade like and to put it underneath the brow bone so i use it for a lot of stuff to also like kind of like blend out concealer and stuff um this is the color pop f11 brush so i do also really like this one i would highly recommend looking into getting some color pop brushes they're amazing i love them i do also have a sponge that i wanted to talk about this is from sonia kashik i don't know what it's called i have been loving this sponge so much when you wet it it just expands it gets huge and i know it is very dirty it's because i've been using it i love that even if i go in with a full coverage foundation it doesn't take away any of that coverage because you know how sometimes you'll go in with the sponge and it'll kind of like shear the product out so then you kind of have to go in with more in order to get the original coverage that you're supposed to get Th this one doesn't do that this if you're using a full coverage foundation and you're blending it out with the sponge you're still going to get that full coverage it does not shear your products out it leaves you with that full coverage so i love this I love how it just like blends everything out super nicely. I've really been enjoying the sponge and it's also like super soft and bouncy and it's only $5 at Target. So go get it. Go get it, okay. Oh boy, that got dirty. Mm. Let's talk about this. This is the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder Palette. I have been really enjoying this palette. Especially love to go in with these two shades here to like kind of like set my cream my cream contour and it just looks super nice and pretty on the skin. You just look so bronzy and super summery. Also very easy to blend out. So I've really been enjoying this palette. I think it only retails for 10 bucks at Ulta. And then an eyeshadow palette that I have found myself reaching for so much. This is the Visionary palette from One Size. This is Patrick Star's brand and I've been loving this so much. I did do a review slash tutorial on this palette if you haven't watched that go watch that after you finish watching this i love just the shades everything they blend out beautifully they blend out easily they're so pigmented no fallout on the eyes i really like this palette i especially like the first shade manila sands just like highlight underneath the brow bone set that eye primer or concealer the shade mango is like mm, delicious the black in here I love it. The shimmer shades, they're just so, so good. I am wearing it right now all over the lid. I use this shade everything. And this is just, it's everything. It's so good. One more product to talk about. 
this right here um this is a squalene cleanser from the ordinary this is actually my second one i'm going to be posting my updated skincare routine video and i'm going to talk a lot about it about that product in there what i can say is that i've completely ditched makeup wipes makeup wipes were really ruining my skin i was ruining my own skin i've stopped doing a lot of stuff i've stopped using a ton of products but more importantly i've stopped using makeup wipes and i now am a slave a fanatic to double cleansing this cleanser from the ordinary it just makes your makeup just like slide right off when you go in and rinse your face it's also very affordable i think it's like a little bit less than eight dollars double cleansing has really changed my whole skincare has really just changed my skin for the better i i don't know why i wasn't doing this before like i just really like how it just breaks down the sunscreen moisturizers makeup on my face and just when i splash my face and like rinse it off like the makeup just comes e it just easily comes off i am going to be posting a skincare routine hopefully next week but yeah those are pretty much all of the products that i have been loving for the past month but also the past summer or some i hope that you guys have found this video a little bit helpful hopefully you discover some more favorites let me know down below in the comments what products you guys have been enjoying i'm always on the lookout to test out new products so let me know down below thank you guys so much for watching thank you for all of your support and again thank you guys so much for such a positive response on my artistry studio review thank you guys so much it means so much to me and i think i'm gonna go back to posting more artistry videos <laughs> if you have any video requests please leave those down below in the comment section subscribe down below and please give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye